it is Sunday morning, July 31st. I'm just left the uh, Two Medicine Valley Campground in Glacier National Park. Man, I tell you, it, it's, it's, I'm torn. It is so beautiful here. I hate to leave. Um, and, and I could have stayed a few more days, but I know there's going to be a lot more beautiful country for me to see here, and I just ready to move on, I guess, and um, get over into Idaho. My plan is to actually take Route 2. I, I, I think I'm going to take Route 2, it's probably U.S. 2, clear through Washington. It stays more northerly. Uh, it's not going to be as fast as getting back on Interstate 90, but you know, I, I don't need to be in a hurry. And uh, I'll probably see a lot better scenery, and um, I'm sure it's a good road, and it's um, shorter distance, maybe longer driving time, but again, it's not important to me. So that's my plan. I'm going to get over to, um, there's a big lake in northern Idaho, and I'm going to get over there sometime this afternoon. And uh, probably be early afternoon. I think it's probably only a three or four hour drive. It's not that far away. And I will be entering the Pacific time zone as soon as I cross from Montana into Idaho. So I'm going to gain another hour there. Um, so I'll have some time to chill out there for a while and check it all out. So I'm going to stay at least one night in Idaho, maybe two. And then I'm going to head on into Washington and uh, take the rest of the week getting through Washington and then head into Canada Sunday at the latest. I got to kind of check out and see, you know, where I could camp that's not too far away from Chilliwack there and uh, stuff. If there's nothing really convenient, then I'll, I'll probably wait and go over Sunday if I can find some what looks like to be good camping or something close to Chilliwack then I may head over into it Friday or Saturday and stuff so that's kind of the the general plan but man I gotta tell you if you get a chance to come to northwestern Montana Glacier National Park area or Flathead lake area you got to do it man it is a you know it's got to be on your bucket list this is by far the most beautiful country that i have seen in america so far and, and i've been to colorado and i lived in arizona and i've been through new mexico there aren't many states and i've been up in the northeast there aren't many states except for the few small ones you know right around that delaware uh, area that I haven't been to lived in the Carolinas so I've seen some really really pretty country but nothing absolutely nothing compares to this so far now I might see some other things when I get over in Idaho and Washington that'll really jazz me up too but man this is just you gotta you gotta make a trip out of it and come out here and check this out and I haven't, you know, I didn't even get a chance to really go through Glacier Park. There's a lot more to Glacier National Park than I'm seeing. I'm just seeing the southeastern portion of it. But there, and I did, really didn't even see any of the big glaciers. There were some small ones on some of the mountains around here. But um, I'm sure there's a lot of beauty in this park uh, that I haven't seen. So if, if what's here at Two Medicine is a taste of the rest of it man it's it just got to blow your mind so all right well it's um <laughs> what is it august 1st i think that's monday afternoon about 2 20 local time i'm in washington state um i'm gonna turn the camera around here a little bit let you see what it looks like it's really really different here i'm just west of Spokane by 10 miles or so, headed on uh, US Highway 2 
through central Washington, going to stop for the night in a place called Wilbur, Washington, a little private campground there. Hopefully they've got really clean showers, they get good reviews, so I just need a shower bad. I haven't showered since last Wednesday. I've been dry camping uh, with no shower facilities for that long, so uh, I just feel like I need one. <laughs> I've been keeping clean. I got these little wipe, freshen up things that I use, and you know, I can wash my face and yada yada yada. But anyway, so I stayed last night in uh, Idaho. I don't even remember the name of the town. It was by Farragut State Park. They got a lake there. I think I was about 30 miles north of Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene, I think is how the locals pronounce it. And um, it wasn't much. All the regular campgrounds were full. Man, nobody must work during the week in this part of the country at this time of the year. This is definitely high season for being outdoors because they had three or four campgrounds there, hundreds of campsites. Not a one of them was open. So I got the uh, primitive camping overflow and it was very primitive. I basically was pulled off the side of a little road on a freshly white rocked and horribly dusty and soft little pull out uh, looking out at a field and that was it. So it was not very attractive but and, and no, no amenities at all. Um, but it was a place to sleep so and I got some more video edited so um, I made the best of it. So anyway, obviously that was a one-nighter and I'm out of there. I was driving uh, in between Coeur d'Alene and um, Spokane and I've been noticing for the last day or so one of the hubs on my trailer was getting a lot hotter than the others. I mean hot enough that you put your finger on it you had to take it off immediately because it was it would burn you. And uh, you know I wanted to make sure I didn't have a wheel bearing going out or a brake that was not um, acting right and was sticking and, and yada 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 before I head out kind of in the middle of nowhere here in Washington. So found a tire place and uh, they were able to get get my trailer uh, jacked up and looked at it in a couple of hours. So basically I just been killing time in. Uh, Fort Falls or something like that and uh, had a nice breakfast and yada 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 went for a walk through a little park took Bernie for a little walk in the park so not bad but ready to get on the road anyway they wanted the, the bearing on that particular um, hub that was getting hot they said was a little loose that could have been causing some heat build up they tightened it up but the brakes were good to go so I feel better now that I've had all that stuff checked out and everything. So I'm back on the road now. Got through Spokane. No problems at all. Although I-90. I don't know how much they paid the contractor to build that stretch of highway, but it sucks. Man, rougher than hell on your tires. I don't know, man. Whatever they paid to have that done, they paid too damn much. Anyway, I'm going to stop yakking. I'm going to turn the camera around and let you guys see some of the scenery out here. I'm in the, kind of a high plains. I'm, I'm pretty much through the Rockies now. Spokane is pretty much the western edge of the Rockies, if it's not Coeur d'Alene. I didn't actually go through Coeur d'Alene. I went west of there a little bit. But anyway, I'm back into more flat, rolling country. Um, not a lot of trees. It, it looks a lot like North Dakota, actually. So, going into a little town here, I'll uh, get some shots of the highway and the scenery, and then I'll maybe check back in this evening when I um, stop for the night.
little bit of video of the drive yesterday, but I ran out of space on the SD card in my camera. And uh, until the last hour, 45, 45 minutes to an hour of the drive, it really wasn't much. It was just more wheat fields and scrubby looking uh, high plains stuff. Eastern Washington's not not that attractive um, compared, especially compared to the other things that I've seen on this trip. So anyway, I got a little bit. There was a little bit of some gorge area and stuff where some ancient uh, rivers had cut through the rock. That was pretty cool looking. I got some video of that, and that, that's about it for my trip yesterday. So. Uh, that place I stayed at the night before, very nice. Uh, the people were very nice. The owner was very nice. He was an older guy. Uh, the place itself, um, you know, it was comfortable. Not a lot of sights. It was right off of a highway, so there was a lot of traffic noise. But the sights were fairly spacious. They had a little food shack there that they made pizza at. So I got a pizza, and it was very good, all handmade, very good. Had a laundromat, you know, the showers were nice and clean, and all that was enjoyable, so, but it was, you know, it was just a place you'd want to overnight at, and not a place you'd want to stay several days, so, but, uh, this, this guy, his granddaughter was there visiting, she and her mother were visiting, I think, she said they lived in uh, Oregon, and, uh, she, I guess she was probably about 10 years old or so, and she was just the most precocious little girl, she reminded me so much of my daughter, Kristen, she was just very mature for her age, and I mean, you could sit and just converse with her, and she took my order when I got my pizza, and, you know, rang me up and all that stuff, and she was better at checking me out than most adults <laughs> at Walmart, so she was just a cute little girl, and she fell in love with Bernie. I wish I'd have gotten a picture of them together and sent it to her, man. She just, she just wanted to sit and pet and play with Bernie uh, the whole time so really really nice meeting her and her granddad I'm sure he uh, just loved having her there for a few weeks during the summer here 